Our first guest tonight is an Australian force of nature. You know her from the movies Bridesmaids, Pitch Perfect, and her new one, Senior Year, premieres on Netflix May 13th. Please welcome Rebel Wilson. <laughs> It's great to have you. I know you just yeah. came in from Australia. Yeah, I, I just came in. Um, I had some family time back in Australia. I have some old nice. grandparents there in their 90s. Oh, wow. So I made a big lunch for them. And then my grandfather bit into the sausage that I cooked and half of his fake teeth cracked open and started hanging out of his mouth. Oh. And then he just kept eating like that. And I'm like, Poppy, no, like, you got to, like, stop that. <laughs> and then I had to take the fake teeth out and put them in a bag and put them in my grandma's handbag so he wouldn't forget them. <laughs> so it's like fun, always fun family time. <laughs> sounds <laughs> sounds <Yeah>. great. <laughs> what are your grandparents' names? Um, Bob and Betty. Oh, nice. Yeah. Those are uh -huh. good grandparent names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you had fun with them. How how often do you go back home to visit? Not often, because I live here now. I'm I'm fully American now. You, so, I know you were. America. You uh, you were very successful back home. Was it your dream to come to Hollywood, to Los Angeles? Well, yeah, when I first came here, I came 12 years ago, and I actually lived just a few streets away from here, and I came just with one suitcase and, and the dream to make it in Hollywood. And before that, I'd actually, because I'd worked in the movie cinemas, like, so not in the, I'd worked in the movies, but, like, in the movie cinemas, where, like, I, like, cleaned it and made the popcorn and stuff. And I would, I would watch all the American movies, and I'd just love it. And I'd get in trouble because I'd just sit in the cinemas instead of working. And then I, I got busted all the time. And they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just, oh, I was just cleaning. Like, and, you know, but Have was... you ever gone back to that theater where you worked and seen yes. one of your movies? So, um, well, weirdly, the very first movie I was in, I was still working there. Because <laughs> I loved the job. You got, like, a lot of free popcorn and soda, so I loved it there. And, and I was holding out the trash bag as people were exiting. And they were like, weren't you in that movie? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I got too famous. I got too famous and I had to quit and, yeah. you know, and move to Hollywood and, you know, be here. So, you, um... Uh, this movie, as I mentioned, it's called Senior Year. You yeah. brought your senior yearbook from high I, school. I found it. I got it from Australia and brought it all the way over here. This I'm one. actually on the front cover. You're on this the cover. There's you There's right me, there. Yeah. This is like their 100-year anniversary yearbook, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, that wasn't a joke. So I, I went to an all-girls um, Christian school. Same here. So very posh. Mm -hmm. um, and you were... Um, and, yeah, and so I found... And it was 25 years ago since I was in high school. And so, I, yeah, I dug up these archives. Do you guys of, have reunions, you know, high school sweet. reunions and everything? There you are yeah. on the inside cover, too. Yeah. It this... looks like the little girl saying something weird and that you're upset. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm the only one going, huh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, I went to your... What was your name in high school was different than uh, your well, name Well, because I couldn't go under Rebel because it's like a Christian school and it just wouldn't have been appropriate. So yeah. uh, under under my middle name, Melanie. Like St. Melanie. Um, yeah, and so... And then Is there I a had... St. Melanie? I just made that up, yeah. No. But there you are, okay. Melanie. Yeah. Be... yeah, that's my... Look my at school. all these activities. I know. This I was... is... I was kind of an overachiever at high school. I did lots of sports and debating and mock trial. And tennis? Yeah. Tildesley tennis, basketball, yeah. softball, cricket, 12-voice choir, a cappella, senior yeah. handbells, uh, Tom yeah, Sawyer, Grease. Yeah, all the plays and stuff and the musicals. Yeah. Wow. So Were you just... ever at home? Well, I actually did so much at the school. I had to live at school and I became a boarder. So I, li I lived actually at the school. Really? Yeah, yeah. Were I you a good it. student or a, a troublemaker? I, I was a good student. Like I got into law school when I graduated, mm -hmm. the top law school in Australia, and um, and then my mum cried when I said I'm now going to become an actress. I bet. She's like, all that studying, what was that for? Because I, I never use any of the studying now. So you never went to a minute of law school? I did. I did actually graduate. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, even worse. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Were you, were you good at sports? It seems um, like you must have been. Yeah, I, so I was school basketball captain, um, and we actually had a coach, and he played two games in the NBA, 
So I thought he was like the coolest dude ever. And he'd For come real? in a suit and he had like the board and yeah, and I was like, wow, this is like amazing. But this he only is... played two games. <laughs> it was for like either Denver Nuggets, I think, or Minnesota he, he played. If he um, played in the NBA, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, and he was like really tall. Yeah. And I was like, wow. So you... like we thought we were all gangster like when we walked in with him, and but we weren't. And you weren't. we lost every single game that I was captain. <laughs> Were you disruptive in class? Um, I was like, so I was smart at school, but I was also like a little bit cheeky. Um, so in the boarding house, I would mastermind the escapes because there was a boys' school next door. Oh. And so, and we had bars on our windows. It was that type of like good Christian school. And then <laughs> I would, I would organize the escapes to go. I'd like work out all the passcodes for the alarms and like, and like, like let's go, let's go. Um, and then one time I uh, locked a teacher in a cupboard for four hours. Because <laughs> she was a mean teacher. And it was, it was really good revenge. How did that happen? Um, well, we like said, oh, there's something in the cupboard, miss. And then we pushed her in, <laughs> locked her. And um, I know it's a bit bad. I feel a bit bad now. Four hours? Yeah, she <laughs> cried. <laughs> And she could never tell which which girl it was that pushed her in, and so they like lined us up and was like, which one was it? And I'm like, don't say anything, guys, don't say anything. And then no one ratted me out. Wow, and, yeah, you must have I commanded a lot of respect there at yeah, the school. Well, I was voted deputy head girl, which is kind of like the second most popular girl at the school, which is why I'm on the front cover of the book. Deputy head yeah. girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the um, movie that Rebel is here to tell us about is called Senior Year. We'll see a bit of that when we come back. Rebel Wilson is here. What about like the music and the dancing and the flipping? Oh, oh no, no, we do not do stunts anymore. And also, we don't do any sexy dancing. We'd rather have people listen to our words than just our bodies. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, but this cheer would be so much better if you guys just made me believe you were seconds away from showing your tits. No, stop. Yes, Martha? Okay. Yes, I had this one signature move. You guys are gonna love it. It's called lips to lips. All right, everybody do it with me. You start Stop. on the face, fingers go down the body. No, no, no. Down the body and up. No. Why is it? everyone doing it? That is Rebel Wilson in senior year on Netflix. And I love the idea. This is a really funny idea. Explain the premise. Yeah, so in the movie, um, I'm an Australian girl who moves to America, becomes cheer captain, and then in a stunt gone wrong, uh, falls on her head, goes into a coma for 20 years. And then I wake up and it's me and I want to redo my senior year and, you know, try to win prom queen and, like, have an awesome time for senior year. So it was, it was really fun. It's a fantasy a lot of people have, not the coma part. Not, not the 20 years going like, like that. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I've had that dream where you, what, what would I do if I was back in high school? And yeah. What would I say? Did you go to prom and everything like that when you are in high school? Yeah, I did. Um, out in Australia, it's called a formal, but it's oh. the exact same thing. And, like, people get wasted. Um, uh -huh. my, my date got so drunk, he ran into the ocean, but he had his wallet and everything, and I had to, like, rescue so we could get home, his wallet. I was like, well, you go in the ocean if you want, but I just need your wallet. Um, <laughs> Come back. So it was actually, mine was a disaster. <laughs> uh, OK, so we mentioned a moment ago that you did handbells. And... Yeah, that was one of my extracurriculars. I kind of mainly just did it to have something musical on my resume, because I can't play any instruments. Oh. Yeah. OK. One of our producers, Laura, told me that she also did handbells. I'd oh. never heard of handbells before. Now that I see them, I. Seen might them. be a girls' school thing. Yeah, maybe it is. What? Um, but whatever it is, we have some handbells we were able to acquire. Some tournament caliber handbells. And perhaps you can uh, show us how to do this properly. Oh, and you've even got the gloves, Jimmy. Isn't that like the rule? You have to have the gloves? Yes, when you handle all bells, uh, you need gloves. Um, I don't. You want to put on the gloves? Well, I'll put on. This yeah, is... I'll put, you have to have two gloves. Okay. Yeah. So I haven't done this in like 25 years, Jimmy. I've never done it. What song should we do? Let's like... do "Happy Birthday" for Melania. Okay. You can yeah. you do that. <laughs> is that something? Okay. That... Yeah. Um, all right. What notes do we have here? Yeah. Because if you were gonna say something like Megan the Stallion, I was gonna be like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. No. Um, no. All right. Well, why don't you take this handbell at the end, and I'll. 
I'll like give okay. you a subtle gesture. Okay, great. All right. Okay, all right. Happy birthday, Melania. <laughs> hi, Melania. How you doing? Say hi to Donald in the other room. You got to be serious. As well. Okay, all right. Yeah. <sighs> Wow. everybody. Uh, see you here. It's a movie. It premieres May 13th on Netflix. We'll be back with Randy Rainbow. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>